So it's not just the art collection, but the Rothschilds are also very involved in keeping, breeding and understanding live birds. Um, as we did the research for this exhibition, we realised that nearly all of their properties across Europe had an aviary or a pheasant tree, both here in England, but also in France and in Switzerland. Here at Wadston, we've used the archive material to look at how the aviary was run, what birds were kept in it. Um, there's a wonderful account book that I have here that shows the seeds and the fruit and things that were being bought for the birds. There's even mention of bullock hearts being bought for some of the birds, which was a real surprise to us. And there's wonderful detail about how the aviary was cared for, the painting of it, what the aviary keepers even wore. And then we have other records that tell us a bit about who they were. We have staff cards for three different generations of the Stanton family who looked after the birds here at Wadston and details as well about how much money Ferdinand was spending on buying birds and then of course we moved on to looking at Walter who is perhaps the most famous Rothschild naturalist and the work he was doing at Tring Park keeping cassowaries and rears and really studying those and trying to understand how the genus worked and where they had come from and what they were doing and what kind of they looked like and how they bred. So they were really at the forefront in some ways of looking after birds, understanding birds and bringing that understanding to others as well. Thank you.